Guilty pleasures. Dirty dancing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you know what? You made a guest leave. <laughs> no, but here's the thing. Now we know why he disappeared from the last one because nobody puts baby in a corner. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. To... Mr. T <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll I'll tell you what. Wow. Since we're going Swayze, if you want to go good bad that movies, Roadhouse. Yeah. I'm telling you, Roadhouse is the tits because it just comes across as. A, a guy who has a PhD and is a bouncer for no explicable reason other than the fact that, oh, this will be an interesting storyline. I like beating up dudes. Yep, and he rips <laughs> out people's throats and pain don't hurt. Yeah, that's, that's the way PhD That's stuff. what he does. Yep. I like beating yeah, up it's dudes. It's nice till, you're, till it's time not to be nice. Yeah, and like I said, now that's a bad movie that, like I said, it's a guilty pleasure. I'll, I own it. I'll watch it every time it's on TV. I made... I made See, now here's my problem. Here's my problem. All right. I can't go American with this. I unfortunately cannot go American with guilty pleasure. Okay. Holy Grail is my. It's my. But that's not pleasure. a bad movie, though. But, but it's, not, it's not a bad film. But if you look at it for its context, okay. It was not the greatest thing that was out there produced. No, and it's it, but it's a it highly quotable movie. It's highly quotable. Right. It has a good storyline. Oh. Or how about we were talking on the way here, Rocky Horror? Yeah, Rocky Horror. Rocky, okay, is Rocky a Horror is an abysmal movie that the only reason why it's good now is because audience members decided to shout at the screen. I mean, seriously, as a musical, Fun. above average. Mediocre music, yes. Right. And, but as a movie, it doesn't translate well. Like, a lot of musicals will not. You know, Cats, Cats. is a perfect example. Right. Jinx, you owe me a lucky streak. <laughs> but and it's just like, that's why they're musical. Chicago was well done, even though I've never seen... The, the musical it itself, was, it was just really the, good. the visuals of it were fantastic. Yes, Grease is another guilty pleasure Grease of a movie also metal. where it's just yeah. like, okay, it's stupid and it's. But it, it, here's the thing: it's not it's not there to change the world. It's not Bono trying to solve world hunger. Which this is knows. just right. dopey songs in a movie. Right. But it's like like the Holy Grail though. It's funny because it's just like the stuff that they did it's with so that absurd. and the life of Brian and, and all he, the. Religion and just yes, but it, it it harkens back to like what we were talking about the Velocipaster, yeah, where it was just like they After couldn't a, they couldn't oh, afford horses by so many people, and it's like they couldn't afford horses told. in the movie, so they'll bang coconut they'll bang the shells, coconut shells. and it was just like the first thirty seconds of the Velocipaster, yeah. we were doubled over in laughter. I looked at him and I'm just like, what? It's this kind of movie. He's like, yes, I'm, I'm like, sure I'm in. It makes <laughs> the sci-fi movies look like Schindler's List. <laughs> because it's just like you that is just like expert filmmaking compared and you know what? God bless you guys, whoever made that movie. You had thirty five grand and you, and you did more than the four of us ever uh, four of us humps ever sitting on this couch ever did. You made a movie and it was entertaining and that's all I cared about. But it was bad acting, bad special effects. And that's what you want. And that's and that's it. I was entertained and it didn't cost me a dime because it was on Amazon Prime. Ooh, that rhymes. That was good. And I like it. It was Wait, filmed. Sorry, it thought. was filmed in the town where I went to college. After we, we went through. No, it was filmed in China and right. Vietnam. China. <laughs> he drove to Vietnam. No, he drove to China. In the opening <laughs> credits, he's driving yeah. from North America oh my God. to yeah. China. I, it's glorious. Over, it's so good. Oh. But but over the last month and a half, I have had at least twenty-five people tell me. That I awesome need to ass. watch. Dude, for it's, a, it's literally it's an hour and ten minutes. It, it's not. It doesn't even hit the ninety minute mark. And it's and there is actually one or two things that they did really cool, like when they did the comic book. Yes. They did one part where it was just like they, they did were the doing Lee Hulk panel. Yeah, where they did comic okay. panels of it with like yeah. really bad punk rock guys playing yeah. their songs in the background. Yeah. But it was just like you know you can tell they had fun making the movie. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more guilty pleasure before we get to Kay's guilty okay. pleasure movie. Tank Girl. Ooh, uh, no, no. Mm, That's just bad for Lori, bad. Lori Petty, Lori, Ice-T. But did you it do, 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 was yeah. funny. It was funny. It was I'll, go, I'll go. And when the KT to my Maddie says it was hysterical, I listen and I agree. I will, I'll Thank go you. you one further. Johnny Mnemonic. Keanu Reeves and Henry Rollins. I mean, we, but we, I could we watch. can definitely we could have laundry. That's what we I could watch. Tank Girl over and over and over. I could. 
That's almost like watching In the Army now over and over and over. Oh, with Paulie Shore. Holy <laughs> shit. I could do it. Yeah. I could. I'm getting <laughs> dumber just sitting in the <laughs> Holy They're fun shit. movies. Doesn't it no. hurt? Yeah, it it hurts. a little bit. I'm getting... <laughs> They're fun movies. Is it? But is that... Yes. Is that, what? In the, in the Army now is fun? Yes. Mm. No, it's the ridiculousness of it. No, okay, I'll give you that. And Andy yeah. Dick is in it and not a, a raving psychopath. At that time. At that time. Right. So you can't you can't hate what happens. I'm not hate. I'm not hate. I'm just like, See, no. even the dogs are agreeing with me. <laughs> Poor Xena's mad about that comment. I don't know. Guilty pleasure movie. So we're talking about movies that are horrible but that you love. love. That you that love. That you love. And people kind of turn when you say that you love it. I don't know if I really have any of those. Um you have I'm to. thinking. I'm thinking. You have I, to. Have you got to have a showgirls or something buried <laughs> yeah. in your closet. Roadhouse. So, yeah, you got to no, have one. Yeah. A-Team. Okay, actually, that was fine. A-Team is all right. I don't know. I, uh, I don't you know. have to have a movie that I'm you thinking. watch. You, you know what? Love, that's what? That should be our next assignment is that we all write down the bad, like our top five then, or ten bad yeah. movies. Everyone yeah. just poops on. Like, what do you, like, when you say, I love this movie, and everyone goes like, oh, I don't know. What's your favorite cult movie? Because that's basically what you guys are talking about right now. Tank Girl, In the Army Now, and I'm not too sure what... Roadhouse. 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 Oh, I do know Roadhouse. Okay, so <laughs> there are specific mm -hmm. clicks. So what's your favorite click? Like, that... The thing you saw that you thought was awesome, yeah. but you know if you brought it, it up to your best cool. friend... And said, hey man, I love this movie. And he's good, like, come on. <laughs> and there's only a select few <laughs> no. that like it. Yeah, Last yeah. action hero. Oh, who said oh! that? <laughs> no, 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 Schwarzenegger, that one. No, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> uh, but you know what? For what that movie was, he poked fun at himself for all those awful the puns. Time. But it just the wasn't well time. done. You know, it just... I'm surprised you even remember that movie. Well, of course I do. Nothing. I'm at a loss for words. I, I <laughs> Come on, I, I was the one who had to tell you Brother Numsy was in that movie. Yes. Uh, Golden Child. We do a 360. No, you idiot. Your 360 want... brings you right back where you came from. Not going to happen. Okay, well, let's end up with Killer Clowns from Killer Outer Clown. Space. Hey. You know what I mean? Like, Let's end up with, like... Hit him in the nose, they explode. <laughs> Crap. Would that be a guilty pleasure? That is 100% a guilty pleasure. I would I'll say so. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. If you want to take Killer Clowns, you I will mind. give it to you. Yep. I'm never going to get over the fact when I first saw it. Like, they were... My mind was blown when I, I, I saw You them, saw like, the movie? Killer Put, Clowns. Yeah, putting, so you saw it. Putting people in cotton candy cocoons. And sucking their brains out. Sucking their brains out. Like, or how about the, when she was trying to lure the child and he had the big mallet behind his back and mm -hmm. come here. No. <laughs> Makes you wonder, could clowns really be from space? They would be the most logical thing. Because they're always smiling. Right. Yeah, we will 100% give that to you. Hey, and thank right. you for backing up another movie that we, we talked, we about, talked about, about that before, man. Yes. But, like, you know, going back to the bot, that's how I discovered Dead Alive. It was one where they didn't have the movie I was looking for. Right. And I went to the horror section and picked this and this. And I knew Peter Jackson's work from other stuff. And I'm just like, huh. You know, because I just watched The Frighteners, probably. The Frighteners. Oh. Because I saw The Frighteners before I saw one Dead of the Alive. Most, one of the most case. underrated horror films. Yeah. And it's a Disney film. Yeah. And it is. Uh, marketed as like it's Michael J. Fox mm -hmm. as a like farcical hey fun movie yeah that is a dark dark yeah film yeah. and it goes there quickly yeah and it, it goes with, there with, with uh, Jake, Jake Busey. Busey Jake Busey and the dude from Reanim Jeffrey Combs who from Reanimator was in there as the, you know the guy and, and 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 Jake Jake Busey's lady friend D Wallace was like yeah. Because that was kind of the Mickey and Mallory before they, you know, you know, Mickey Mal yeah, that, right. Yeah. It was a natural There's born killer. Yeah. yeah, and 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 watching that film, I, my buddy Jason told me about it, and he said you really should watch this film because it's it's got a great story, like you will be hooked. It's a horror film. I'm like, ah, okay. It hooked. It did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you understood why Michael J. Fox was messed up yeah. because of his wife, because of his life, because of this. And it takes you into this character and it shows you why that character, Michael J. Fox, is so messed up. Mm -hmm. 
And then it gives you examples through the ghosts. Yeah. And how they relate to him. And then it goes, and then it shows you Jake Busey, the murderer, mm -hmm. with his wife. And it shows you all of that. Yeah. And the whole time you're watching it through Michael J. Fox's eyes. Yeah. And how horrible. Yeah. And you know what? It's, it's a horrible and it, film. And it just goes back to what we were saying before. If you tell a good story, you're going to get people invested yes. in it. That were, if you weren't interested in it before, you'd be like, you know what? That was awesome character development that I didn't see coming. Yeah. And now it makes me enjoy this movie on another level where it's just not just pretty on the outside. It's got, you know, there's steak to that sizzle where it comes down to it and you're watching this and be like, man, that was a really original turn. I've never seen anything like that was, before. Was Frightener and, Sam Raimi or was that? No, uh, that was Peter Jackson. Uh, yeah, Peter, Peter Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. 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 yeah, and and that everybody that is our point through every discussion we've ever had with you to this point right now please be better storytellers that's all it takes that's yeah. all we want that's all this entire time that's all we've been asking your, your for your daughter can sit there and read that book and read the comic book and everything. But you know what? She is going to be ten times more jazzed if you read it to it and add a little animation to it and do voices and yeah. characters and make her get involved in the source material. And that's all yeah. you... Just get that foot in the door. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Yeah. If the characters are boring or if the story isn't interested... It's not worth telling. You're, you're it's, not, not, it's not worth telling. Right. On that, on that right there, I, uh, got, I was big into... Obviously big into superheroes. But that... Love for superheroes is what brought upon the, the Ninja Warrior stuff that I was doing. Um, my love for science, um, just being athletic in general and trying to strive to learn. Like when when they make the stories correct, like stories is that's how everyone's life. That's what everyone's life is. That's what everything is is a story. So if, if you get that down right, like you're inspiring people to do all these amazing things, and that's what I use superheroes to inspire my niece. To want to learn and um, do something with herself, so that's that's just with you saying like using these stories to impact kids is is amazing, and that that's what that's what y'all need to get behind. Yep. That's y'all slacking in yep. some fields, yeah. Ugh. And I'm gonna let this go at that point because that was. I think he he's that's, we a, went, that's a solid. That's the icing point. on the top. That that is it, man. That. That's done. Can't touch it. Right there. So. For this episode of Far Pay attention to the gaming. youth. Yeah, absolutely. I have been Maddie KT. I'm Steve T. Steve. Khalil. Okay, however you want to put it, man. It don't matter to me. He just put you all in your place. So, thank you for watching. You got and served. until next time, watch Far From Epic watch Gaming. Far from Epic. Have a good one. It was a blast, guys. See ya.